Since FanFest 2022, we already knew that CCP was making another crack at the FPS market. The project still hasn't been officially announced, but CCP has confirmed that it's in development, and around a month ago, they made a Reddit post looking for players to take part in a project screening survey for beta testing. We know very little about the project at this stage, and with the NDA in place for those people lucky enough to be chosen for playtesting, it's likely we will know very little for some time to come. Possibly some teaser coming in FanFest 2023, but who knows. Eve naturally has tried breaking into the FPS market before, with Dust 514 releasing back in 2013 on PlayStation. Quite why they chose to release this on console and not on PC still baffles many people to this day, but the connection between Dust and Eve was was on a next level. Dust's fighting took place in real time on planets inside EVE Online, and so players logged into Dust could fight for planetary control that would affect the planets and players in EVE Online. Equally, players logged in in Dust could designate targets on planets that players in EVE Online could then fire upon, thus EVE Online affecting Dust's world and Dust affecting EVE Online. It's a really great concept and it worked really well, aside from the fact that Dust players were on PlayStation and EVE players were on PC, with an inherent disconnect ever present between console and PC players, this feature didn't really get used that much. Many speculate to this day that had Dust released on PC at the time, that it would still be alive today and a major part in EVE's universal politics and war machines. After Dust came Project Nova, a code name for a multiplayer FPS set in the EVE universe that was nothing more than a concept right up until the point where they stopped supporting it. While they did say they stopped supporting Nova, they did clearly state at the time that it, they would still continue development, citing that players were definitely excited for an EVE Online multiplayer FPS. Now it looked to me at the time that the concept they were working on just wasn't ready or it was going in the wrong direction and maybe receiving too much negative feedback either from investors or testers or both. After Dust and the decline in player numbers in EVE Online, I think CCP wanted to play this safe and get it right rather than face another fail. And this matches the statement that CCP put out regarding Nova. You can pause the video if you want to read it now. The interesting thing here is that the development of Project Nova concept was moved to the CCP London full time. And now in 2022, it's CCP London that is looking for playtesters. So where it seemed like EVE had a new FPS on the horizon, it actually looks more like this is now the basically the evolution of what Project Nova has now become. And given how long they've been working on the game and all that they've learned from Dust, I'm pretty excited to see what they've done. Now, I've been critical of EVE Online in the past and let's be honest, I probably will continue to be critical of EVE Online. But you can't deny that in the EVE universe, the story and potential is just amazing. So I'm looking forward to see more from this universe and see what they've come up with from an FPS point of view. The question now though is, what does this mean for EVE Online? The narrative for a lot of players and content creators is that after scarcity changes and the subscription increase and the sale to Pearl Abyss was that CCP may financially be in trouble. And I've said this myself too. But the fact that CCP London has had this game in the works for the last four years would actually suggest that perhaps instead of EVE Online being financially unviable, that instead that money was simply being redirected to the London office for this yet unrenamed Project Nova. If CCP are able to make a good title here that people outside of the EVE sphere can pick up and play, then this may well also solidify the future of EVE Online. If they're able to add some form of interaction that Dust gave players, for example, within the EVE universe, then those picking up the Nova evolution may well take a turn on EVE Online. And if EVE desperately needs one thing right now, it is more players. Only time will tell, but at the moment we have nothing more than words and some concept art. I'm hoping that FanFest 2023 will shed some light on the project. If playtesting is taking place, then that's usually a good indicator that there is a viable working project out there. And as soon as there's more information and news, I'll certainly come back and cover it. But that's it from me. As usual, thank you all very much.